Chief Meteorologist Rich Ward back here with your forecast. We're going to get right back to DSI here in just a moment. I want to get you set for the weekend and also talk about what to expect for next week. And we do have some rain to talk about here for the weekend. We're going to cut it right in half. Great weather tomorrow. Second half of the weekend, not so great. We have showers moving in for tomorrow morning or for Sunday morning after a great Saturday. And uh, one thing that will be certain here, mild temperatures both tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night and uh, closer to average there Sunday as those showers move in. And we're not looking at heavy rain, but enough that some uh, it'll slow you down with some travel stuff. So if you've got church in the morning Sunday, some plans for the afternoon. Note that uh, that's going to be some impact out there with passing showers. Today's Almanac, we hit 70 at the Salisbury Airport, a couple degrees above average after another chilly start, but it not as cold as it has been. We weren't talking about widespread frost earlier this morning, and that's the trend continuing to go up, as you saw with the weekend forecast, and we'll hold on to some warm temperatures next week, too. Let's talk about current numbers and kind of an interesting note here how unevenly we've seen the cool down here across Del Mar, but look at Fenwick Island. Jolene just calling in a few minutes ago, still at 57. You go up the road, the sensor where Chucky's at and Lewis probably a little further away from the water where he's at 47 and one of the cooler spots here out of Somerset County, Josh calling in 42 degrees. I don't expect too much more in the way of drops of temperatures tonight. We're going to hold steady those areas like Jolene and Fenwick Island. You will come out of the 50s down to the 40s, but that's pretty much where we'll stay through the night. But a clear sky will continue. In fact, uh, the system that I'm tracking to the south hasn't even developed yet. But you can still see some clouds here starting to kind of pull together and you see a little bit in the way of radar returns off the Carolina coast. It'll be a weak disturbance, but enough that'll take in some uh, Atlantic moisture and throw it away in the form of some showers. Let's track it for you through tonight and tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. running you through the afternoon. The only change to the sky, some high clouds coming in. So again, Saturday evening looking good too. And then showers expected for the morning and then for the afternoon. You can see the center of this disturbance is offshore. It won't be causing a windy situation like the remnants of Ian or anything like that. But the idea is that at times we'll see some of these showers pinwheel in from uh, uh, the ocean and affect the areas, especially closer to the coast, but even inland and as far west as Cambridge and Easton, you can see a few of these showers throughout the day and evening. And as we go through Monday, the disturbance starting to lift north. And what we'll do is probably hold on to some of the clouds, maybe a shower before sunrise. But as the day goes on wet Monday, it should get better by the hour and we'll start the week with plenty of sunshine. 41 to 46 tonight under clear skies, not as cold as it has been. And really a beautiful day for this time of the year tomorrow. 44 to 8 up to near 70 by 4 o'clock and we'll hold on to clear skies in the evening with just some high clouds and temperatures in the upper 50s at 8. There's the rain day for the seven day forecast really is the focus is for Sunday as the next shot for a shower. It's probably going to be Wednesday night and early Thursday, but that's really a low end chance for rain at this point. And we're keeping temperatures above average throughout the entire part of next week. More DSI on the other side of the break. Stay with us.